So the player is not the problem. The player has said yes, and now it's on the clubs. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted here on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Kylian Mbappé, Joao Felix, Moises Caicedo, Paulo Dybala. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start with Chelsea because it's one of the news of the night, but Chelsea have closed the agreement with Union Berlin for David Datrofofana. He's going on loan to Union Berlin to play Champions League uh, football. And so big opportunity for the player is a strike loan with no buy option included. Medical done. So Fofana leaves Chelsea and goes to Union Berlin. But for Chelsea, it's an important week in terms of contacts for Moises Caicedo because guys, I know it's also not easy as a journalist to tell you about this deal because it's a particular deal with the two clubs, Chelsea and Brighton, in direct contact, as I explained to you many times. And this is why it's not easy to see on the media many reports about this story for Caicedo. It's not a daily bid, a uh, daily uh, proposal from Chelsea to Brighton and an answer from Brighton to Chelsea. It's a daily exchange between the two clubs. So it's a direct conversation. But I can guarantee to you that the conversations are ongoing, that Chelsea will push again this week. So it's not easy to speak about terms of the deal as it's a verbal conversation, not an official conversation. But for sure, this is still ongoing. And this week, they will work again on the deal. Chelsea and Brighton for Moises Caicedo. And the player is still hoping and pushing to join Chelsea because he has an agreement almost done, as we know very well, with Chelsea on the personal terms. So the player is not a problem. The player has said yes, and now it's on the clubs. Chelsea and Brighton working on that. But for sure, Pochettino uh, is hoping to have Caicedo as soon as possible. So let me say that Caicedo remains a priority target and there will be new contacts this week. For Chelsea, I had many questions, guys, in the recent days about Paulo Dybala. But again, guys, I'm not aware of anything advanced. This story is still not something concrete or something advanced. We always knew about Mauricio Pochettino appreciating Dybala, but at the moment it's not a negotiation between Dybala and Chelsea or a negotiation between Chelsea and Roma or uh, any message from Chelsea to inform Roma that they will send a proposal for the release clause. So at the moment, between Dybala and Chelsea, there are still no concrete things. So nothing to report, same as Dujan Vlaovic. Let me say, guys, that for a former Chelsea player like Joe Felix is going to be a crucial market because the intention of all parties, Joe Felix, his agent Jorge Mendes and Atletico Madrid is to find a solution. Uh, Atletico want to find a permanent transfer solution for Joe Felix, so a loan with a mandatory buy option or uh, a permanent transfer. This is what they want. It's true, guys, that, as we already said, Joe Felix appreciates uh, the idea and the project of Paris Saint-Germain, where there is Luis Enrique, who is a big fan of Joao Felix. So this kind of quality football of Luis Enrique is something appreciated, and Luis Enrique appreciates Joao Felix. So PSG is one of the possibilities, but at the moment, for PSG, it's crucial to resolve the Mbappe story before entering into any negotiation for Joao Felix. And also, for Joao Felix, I'm told that in the recent weeks, also some Premier League club explored the possibility of a swap deal with Atletico Madrid. So some important Premier League club discussed some potential swap deal, but from Atletico they were not happy with that kind of proposal. Uh, so it's not easy at all to find a way as they still value uh, Joe Felix as a very important uh, player with a very big price tag. And so guys, about that and about Kylian Mbappé, as I told you, PSG have to resolve that story before entering into, in a com into, into any conversation for uh, Kylian Mbappé. And I can tell you that the idea at the moment, from what I'm hearing, on Paris Saint-Germain's side is to put Mbappé again under pressure in the next days, telling him this week that they wait for an answer, otherwise they will discuss internally later this week about a potential price tag to discuss with clubs for Kylian Mbappé. So PSG are basically saying, let us know what you want to do if you want to sign a new deal. Let us know as soon as possible this week, at least next week. Otherwise, we will have a price tag ready and we will start conversations to put Mbappé on the market. This is the idea from PSG. They want really clarity around this story. From Kylian Mbappé's side, still no final decision. We are still waiting, guys, to see what Kylian Mbappé will communicate to PSG. But it's very clear that from Mbappé's side, the intention at the moment is to keep things quiet and then communicate to PSG when they are 100% sure. But at the moment, no uh, concrete answer from Real Madrid. They remain on their strategy, keeping things quiet not doing any statement until they know the real price tag of Kylian Mbappé. So that moment is going to be crucial. But at the moment from PSG, they are getting very tense and they want an answer. Otherwise, they will have a price tag ready for Kylian Mbappé with no veto open to negotiate 
with any club. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Joao Felix, Kylian Mbappé, Paulo Dybala, Moises Caicedo. Uh, these are crucial points of the transfer market. Let me know in the comments, guys. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.